Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News and your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. Good morning. I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's edition of Monday Night Raw broadcast live on USA Network from the Paycom Center in Oklahoma City. In the main event, Finn Balor and Damian Priest of Judgment Day regained the undisputed WWE Tag Team title from Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso when Balor pinned Jey following illegal outside interference from Jimmy Uso. He is it a change hands and the giant shadow of the Judgment Day is cast once again over the tag division here in WWE. The Judgment Day wearing all the gold. The ghosts of Jay Uso's past continue to haunt him. The loss ends Rhodes and Uso's title reign at just nine days, making it the shortest tag team title reign in WWE in over a dozen years since John Cena and The Miz briefly held the WWE tag team title in February 2011. Gunther made a successful defense of his Intercontinental Championship, defeating Bronson Reed via pinfall. Refusing to be denied. Nobody has taken that amount of offense in a row. On the bounce from Gunther. And come back asking for more. Gunther. No chance. He tried earlier. Oh, my God. Gunther the powerbomb. Also on the show, Gunther's Imperium partner Ludwig Kaiser picked up a win over Johnny Gargano thanks to outside interference from Giovanni Vinci. The show opened with a promo from Sami Zayn during which Zayn was threatened by the Judgment Day until Jey Uso made the save. Despite the show of solidarity, in a backstage segment, Zayn seemed to blame Jey for forcing Kevin Owens off of Raw by jumping ship from SmackDown. Piper Niven pinned Natalya, And after the match, Tegan Knox made the save when Niven and Chelsea Green both attacked Natalya. In other results, Shinsuke Nakamura beat Ricochet in a Falls Count Anywhere match, and World Women's Champion Rhea Ripley went to a no contest with Shayna Baszler due to outside interference from Nia Jax, Raquel Rodriguez, and Zoe Stark, all of whom brawled at ringside. In ratings news, last Friday's season premiere episode of SmackDown drew a total audience of 2.417 million viewers to Fox, according to Russell Nomics, an increase of nearly 5% from the previous week's total audience of 2.319 million. However, in the key 18 to 49 year old demographic, the rating was a 0.62, a slight drop from the previous week's 0.64. AEW Rampage also experienced a rise in viewership last Friday night, bringing in a total audience of 406,000 viewers to TNT, an increase of more than 10% from the previous week's audience of 365,000, and the show's highest viewership in two months. The rating in the key demo was 0.14, also up from the previous week's 0.12 rating. In news from outside the ring, the Kofi Kingston Library and Digital Center in Ghana is officially open, according to an announcement on social media from Kingston yesterday, who participated in the grand opening in person. Kingston and his mother, Elizabeth Sarkote Mensa, through the Click for Quality Education Foundation, began the process of setting up the -the state-of-the-art education facility for middle schoolers in Ghana nearly a year ago. The facility contains integrated centers and computer labs and was partly supported by a GoFundMe set up by the foundation. Wrote Kingston on Instagram, quote, The Kofi Kingston Library and Digital Center is officially open, up and running, and we couldn't have done it without all of you. It was such a special day filled with excitement, enthusiasm, optimism, and hope. End quote. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, You can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, For daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media.
And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.